Hey guys, and welcome to episode 57 of Which Automation Car Mod Can Jump the Farthest on Car Jump Arena. We are inching our way closer to episode 100 of this series. I'm going to try to get these things out faster. I, I, there was a while there. I was months in between these, but uh, there's been a lot of awesome automation mods that have come out recently, and I'm going to show you some of them today. So as always, if you enjoy this series and you want to see more of it, make sure to hit that like button down down below and with that let's jump right in shall we all right so first we got a 99 nissan skyline and we've seen a few of these before but none uh quite like this <laughs> it has a lot of personality i'll just say that it has eyebrows eyebrows they massacred my skyline oh yeah i would i would agree we got the uh <laughs> spongebob beams it's a it's the whole th it's the whole package man this is this is this is the life right here interesting um art aside let's see how far it could go on the car jump arena i mean it's still a skyline even though it does have a sticker for a nissan logo <laughs> oh god it is quick though 100 and 70 80 we might hit 200 we are 211 miles an hour and straight into a backflip but we're gonna work it out, so we're gonna go around 520, maybe 517, 517 meters, and landing in one piece, surprisingly, looks okay, and into the pool, not affected by water whatsoever. <laughs> we just slid into it like we were, oh my god, a, a sack of potatoes, a sack of rocks, my god. Okay, now we're a little beat up, but uh, the actual fall, descent, the jump, didn't put a freaking scratch on this thing. I got to say, I'm pretty uh, surprised by that. Pretty impressed, even. Even if we have a uh, heart, headlights, and eyebrows. Oh, God. <laughs> that is the stuff of nightmares right there. So, yeah, we got uh, Lightning McQueen. It has a different name. I cannot say it on YouTube, though. It, uh, his name is Lightning Mc... Uh, I'll say it rhymes with Macbeth. Anyway, here we go. Kerchew, let's do it, man. Is that a sneeze? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna have to censor that. Oh, this is a this is a beauty right here, man. Here we go. Looking good so far. 225 miles an hour. Uh, this is gonna go very far, nearly to the 600 mark, and land landing flat on our face. Oh my goodness. This isn't the Pixar version. We're gonna bounce the pool oh my god we're gonna bounce all the way to the ocean oh my goodness gracious yeah that was a rough ride for number 95 look at his face oh i kind of feel bad now and then i look at it when it's not damaged and now i do not feel bad at all get this off my screen please i love it but it's gonna haunt my nightmares all right, so this one comes damaged right out the box it's the 2012 ford lawnmower that's that's what it's called. I don't know <laughs> a lot about it, but I do know it, it had a messed up face right when I spotted that. That's a good sign, right? It's got to be. And, uh, you know, it looks kind of fast. So I thought, why not? I'll give it a shot. Let's see what you got. I didn't mean to rhyme like that. But anyway, here we go. It is quick. Oh, it's very quick. I think we popped a wheelie there for a second. A lawnmower going 180 miles an hour. My goodness. Nice launch as well. Past the 300, past the 400, past the 500 in a lawnmower. We're about to go 560 meters and just get absolutely obliterated on impact, unfortunately. Why is the camera so close? Just, oh, we got another tumbler. I think we're, yeah, we're not going to make it out of the pool on this one. None of these are affected by the water for some reason. Like it's, it's like the water's not even there. The tires are, they're floating, but nothing else. It doesn't even slow us down. Interesting. What, what is it with automation cars? I don't know. But yeah, what is, what more can I say about this? It's a, it's a, <laughs> the 2012 Ford lawnmower. Pick one up today. All right. We got a floating mod today. Anakin's pod racer from Star Wars. Hell yeah, man. I've always wanted to see one of these at BMG drive. We got the first person as well. Whoa, this is very slidey. Oh my goodness. Look at that thing. <laughs> yes. 
Oh, this is a perfect camera angle right here. My God. It's not as fast as I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you. We barely made it to 167 miles an hour. And we're going to land flat on our face again. 400. And it's looking about 430 meters. Yes, sir. Nice front flip. There we go. We survived with minimal damage. This thing is an absolute tank. So now we can just send it into the back of the pool again. Not affected by the water whatsoever <laughs> we bent it out of shape a little bit but you know that's the least i think that there's a lot worse that could happen to us in one of these things this is awesome man all right so this is the wartburg melkis uh very ugly name but it's an f3 car i'm sorry but that that has got to be the, the ugliest name i've ever heard but yeah we got a classic formula style race car here always love to see uh, all the different versions of this car that people make. And this one is pretty dang awesome, man. The canoe car. There we go. 178. Flat as a board through the air. And can we make it to 400? Yes, we can. We'll call that an even 400. Looks like the car's falling apart a little bit. But still very much drivable. We should be able to get this into the ladder it just instantly create a black hole or something i don't know what's going on here automations never had the best crash physics let's be real i would love to see that updated where it's like kind of on par uh with other bbg cars but you know it is what it is sometimes you get a broken time space oh there goes the wheel all right we got another uh, fictional floating race car the blue falcon from f-zero this thing's pretty sick man it's it's so loud by the way Jesus, that's <laughs> so loud. That equals fast, though, right? There we go. Yeah, I mean, it's it, again not as fast as I thought it was going to be, but it's it's not slow. We're still probably gonna yeah get close to 200 miles an hour. It's actually about the same speed as the pod racer. So here we go, 400, and we'll call that 89 meters and landing directly on our behind here. We're gonna skid. And then roll. Can we land in the pool, though? Yes, we can. We'll bounce out momentarily, but we still made it there. A little shorter. I'll give it that. But, uh, you know, still mostly in one piece. I think we can walk away from this. Yeah, look at this thing. <laughs> tell me what game this is if you just saw this screenshot. You wouldn't be able to tell me. It's awesome. I love it. I would like to see a first person like cockpit, though. It's just kind of kind of this all the way through. Next up, we got a McDonald's car. <laughs> Interesting. The Wakefields. Wick, Wick Donald's, I think is what it's called. Uh, but yeah, what other car can you get French fry exhaust tips? Exactly. I didn't I didn't think there was any. So yeah, this thing is it's kind of it kind of looks like maybe like a, a wagon version of a DeLorean. Does anybody else see that? Especially in the back here. This one kind of came damaged right on the spawn, too. Can I fix that? Yeah. No, no, no. It just bends out of shape. That's not a good sign. What if I get moving? Does it still happen? It still happens. Okay, so this car melts. So I guess we better get a move on. Oh, there's something weird happening already. I don't like that. I feel like this wing's going to push us straight down into the ground. But let's find out. Oh, yes, it did. <laughs> We're still one piece, though. 200. It, oh, my God. We are moving 225 miles an hour. And directly into the fence. Much shorter this time uh so now you know, can i can i take this wing off or is it oh it's just part of the body <laughs> okay so i could not take the wing off dang it okay well you know not everything's made for the car jump arena i realize that but uh if we can put some wings like right on the side i feel like this thing would absolutely soar right but anyway mcdonald's car it's awesome of course it is the citron 2 cv one of the goofiest cars ever made and we made it even goofier by making it into a safari car. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so slow. Oh, yeah. Off to a roaring start. Nice bicycle. I think it would legitimately be faster than this thing. But, you know, it's besides the point. Here we go. We can get some speed on this hill anyway. Engine's definitely going to explode any second now. Oh, we are. We're moving, though. 145, six. Didn't quite make it to 150, but we were close. So that should get us a good distance past the 300 mark. Nicely done. Farther than I thought. 320, maybe. Th we'll call it 317. Uh, 317 meters. Not bad. Can we land this thing in one piece? It's not looking good. This thing likes to tumble. That's for sure. We're going to bounce 
Oh my god, past the swimming pool. <laughs> and then we lost the wheel. The suspension's pretty crazy on this thing. Very wobbly. I actually like that a lot. Now, does this thing have a first person mode? Of course it does. Look at this thing. It's adorable. I don't I don't I don't know how long you're gonna survive on a safari in this thing, though. I feel like one swipe from an elephant trunk, this thing's probably a goner, right? And then to finish things up today, we have an actual tank, a sentinel tank is what this thing's called and we got the first person can't see anything out of the front grill unfortunately but uh you know i guess you just kind of aim in the direction of your enemies and you'll probably be okay unfortunately this thing doesn't shoot it just drives uh i don't know how automation would even be able to do that but it's still freaking cool man look how fast we're getting this thing going engine exposed i don't know how that how good an idea that is but uh who am i to judge we got a big giant spotlight and we are tank flying through the air at 173 miles an hour. <laughs> and we're going to make it to 330, almost exactly. We're losing gears all over the place already. I need to get this thing into the pool. Come on. <laughs> Give me a good battle. There's so many gears falling off this thing, but we're still driving somehow. And we do, in fact, make it to the pool. This one actually felt like it was maybe a little bit affected by the water but again i can't really tell but yeah that was a fun episode i hope you guys enjoyed this again if you do enjoy this series and you want to see it continue make sure to that like button down below and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and you know what guys i will see you in the next one Bye bye